Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY I'll be creating a glamorous overhead LED wall sconce using lids and chopping mats. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. To start off I'll be using lids from plastic containers and I'll be using 6 and I took them outside and spray painted them metallic silver. And I set them aside. Next I'll be using chopping mats and these come 2 in a pack and I'll be using 1 sheet and then I'll start placing markings 3 inches up from the bottom edge. Since the chopping mat is transparent, I'm using a black foam board behind it so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Once I was done, I'll use my scissors to cut on the straight line and I'll repeat the same steps two more times. I'll be using three strips for this DIY project. For this next step, I'll be using a stapler, a lid, and a chopping mat cutout. Next, I'll take the cutout and I'll place it inside the lid, forming a circle, and then I'll staple it in place. Next, I'll take the second lid and I'll place it on top to make sure it has the perfect fit, and then I took it back off. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll apply hot glue inside the first lid and then I'll take my cutout chopping mat and I'll place it inside. I'll repeat the same steps on the next two. Next, I'll be using postal board and I took one of the lids and I'll be tracing six circles. Once I was done, I covered one side with mirror reflection paper and then I cut the remaining paper and I'll repeat the same steps on the next five. Next, I took one of the cutouts and I'll be applying hot glue on the back side and then I'll take it and place it inside the lid and I'll repeat the same steps on the next two. Once I was done, I repeated the same steps with the next three lids with the cutouts making sure all six cutouts have the reflection facing up. The reason for having the mirror reflection paper inside on both sides is to have a brighter and better reflection when the lights are on. I'll be using three LED remote touch lights, but for now I'll be testing the reflection to make sure it reflects on both sides. Next, I'll be using foam board cut to size and I'll be using a garden dish and I'll be rounding off the ends on both sides. Once I was done, I cut out the ends on both sides following the lines. Next, I'll be using three of my lids and I'll be placing them on the board, centering them four inches apart. Here, I'm just checking all three to make sure that they are two inches from the bottom and then I'll be tracing them in place. Next, I'll be drawing two lines going down on each circle, and this will be to stay empty while I apply my application. Next, I'll be gluing my first three lids that I created inside the circles.
Next, I'll be using clear school glue in a sponge brush and I'll start applying my clear school glue, not passing over the lines. Once that was done, I'll start applying my school glue and then I'll smooth it out using my sponge brush. Next, I'll be applying clear crushed glass. I apply glue and crushed glass on half of the board and then I'll be using silver glitter for extra shimmering. Once I was done, I repeated all the same steps on the rest of the board. Once I was done, I let it dry for two hours. Then I went back with my clear school glue and applied more to prevent any crushed glass or glitters from falling. If you like this DIY video, please give me a thumbs up and share. It really helps me out a lot and it lets me know that you enjoy videos like this. Next, I took my three lids and I flipped them over and I repeated the same steps with the glue, crushed glass and glitter. Next, I'll be using metallic dessert spoons and I'll be snapping off the heads and I'll be using 12. Next, I'll be using parchment paper and I'll be cutting off a small sheet. Next, I'll take hot glue and I'll apply it on the end of the spoon head and then I'll place it on top of the parchment paper and I'll repeat the same steps four more times forming a circle. I repeated the same steps on a second one. Next, I'll apply hot glue in the center and I'll glue both pieces together. And now I'll have a shape of a flower. Next, I'll use a large acrylic diamond gem and I'll glue it in the center. And I made a total of 12 flowers. Next, I position them on the board and then I glue them in place. I changed my mind and ended up filling in the empty areas. I had a bunch of leftover beaded crystals from previous projects and they're cut in different sizes. So I'll be using them for this DIY project. I'll be gluing them underneath the lids and after I glue them and have them all in place, I'll cut them to the length that I need. I repeated the same steps on the next two. And here I already cut them to the length that I wanted. Next, I'll bring back my LED remote touch lights and I'll place them inside the lid and these are self-adhesive. I repeated the same steps on the next two. And to mount it on the wall, I use command strips that holds up to 16 pounds. I really do love the way this overhead lighting turned out and it's very chic, glamorous and unique. This overhead lighting is very glamorous and shimmery. And now you know to save container lids for future DIY projects. The possibilities are endless. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.